Dear students, in this module, we're going to talk about repeated alignments. As you have already seen, we have looked at global and local alignments already. Overlap matches were also considered. But there can be a situation where you would want to search for a specific nucleotide or amino acid sequence that is repeated within another sequence. The biological context of such a problem lies in the fact that exons are repeated within the DNA several times. Moreover, functional domains within the proteins may also be repeated several times within a sequence. So, if you want to search for such conserved and repeated sequences within another sequence, then you need to find an algorithm to do that. So, we will see how that can be done by modification of the Smith-Waterman and the needleman wunsch algorithm. The important thing is that we need to see which portions of these algorithms need to be modified whereby one sequence that is repeated many times in another sequence can be extracted in a single go from the matrix. So let's see how it works. So here you see the standard Smith-Waterman algorithm that was used for the alignment. So this is a local alignment example and you could see that we selected the highest scores that occurred within the matrix and we trace them back till the zeros. So in this way we obtained multiple local alignments like that here as well as Here. So, what can be done to modify this algorithm? Let's talk about that. So, our initial problem is finding one sequence in another. So, if you have one sequence like that and another sequence here, so what you're trying to do is essentially finding portions of this sequence within sequence number one or finding all of this here somewhere else. So this is our local alignment problem. So how can we modify this to include a portion repeatedly? So what I mean by repeatedly is that if you have a sequence, sequence number one, and then you have a sequence, sequence number two, however, you want to find portions within sequence number one that contain sequence number two. So instead of searching for sequence number two only one time, now we are searching for sequence number two multiple times. For example, if this is a hydrophobic domain, in a protein, then there is a chance that it will be repeated multiple times within the overall protein. So we would want to identify these hydrophobic domains which have the same sequence within another sequence. So this is what I mean by searching one sequence for occurrence in another sequence repeatedly. Okay. So to do that, we need two steps. The first one is to modify the recurrence uh, strategy that we used in the local and the global alignments. We will introduce a threshold T that will classify all the scores below T to be invalid, but anything above T will be considered as a repeated occurrence. We will look at this in detail later. Secondly, we want to modify the traceback strategy because in our previous traceback strategies, we are only finding 
one sequence in another but not looking for it again. So we need to somehow restart the traceback while doing the overall uh, matrix traceback. So ke uh, please keep both of these things in your mind when you're trying to do repeated sequence alignment. So in conclusion, such a repeated sequence alignment strategy or a repeated sequence search can help you to identify repeatedly occurring sequences such as uh, specific exons or specific functional domains which occur repeatedly in the biomolecules and they perform the same function. Please remember that these functions are repeated because every molecule needs some of the basic functions to perform during its life. And therefore, repeated alignments are a very important and useful tool in this problem. We can achieve this strategy by a simple modification to the Smith-Waterman algorithm as we will see later.